Hello and welcome back to tutorial 6 part 3. My name is Eamon Killian and I'm doing a series of videos on how to get started using IBM software. Um, so far in tutorial 6 we have created some object storage, created a virtual machine, linked the virtual machine to the object storage and showing how we can transfer files uh, to uh, the object storage using the control panel. Now we're going to see some popular uh, clients, how we can FTP files onto that object store because uh, it's really, really handy to be able to do it straight from your desktop or in my case your Mac um, to get files on there. So popular ones we saw I think in one of the earlier tutorials FileZilla um, and this is a clean machine here so I've actually already downloaded the um, FileZilla client so I'm not going to go through this whole thing again basically click on the download, download the actual zip file untar it and it will install uh, FileZilla and once you've once you've actually installed FileZilla, then you'll get a nice little icon that you can just sit on your desktop to access it. So that's FileZilla. Uh, the other one that we hadn't seen before was uh, CyberDoc. Um, so you go to this website to download CyberDoc. You can also, if you're on a Mac, um, you can fire up the um, App Store. And in the Mac, in the Apple App Store, you can do a search for CyberDoc, and there is indeed a client available, at $16.99. But we're going to use the free one. We're just going to download it from here. You just click there and download, and that will actually very quickly download a um, the CyberDoc zip file takes seconds to come down then it's in your downloads area and you just simply unzip it there we go once that's down unzip it and you're away and I've already done that to save us a bit of time here today so they're already on the system so now we just need to get access so with FileZilla it will ask us I know for a username and password where do you find that? In your credentials. So you go to storage, object storage, and then we're going to go to Dallas, which is where we created our object storage for this tutorial. Oops. And once we're in DAL05, we can go view credentials. So we want to take the public address, take that into our buffer, fire up FileZilla, And the trick here is in the host, you just change this to SFTP. Then you take the username. And the password, which is the API key. And quick connect. It's unknown, that's fine. Always trust. I won't do an always. And what we're hoping to see, yeah, there it is, is on the left hand side, there's tutorial six. So we can double click on that, and we have files in there the CyberDuck icon and ejk.txt. Um, I copied this in earlier on, um, so we can actually delete that from the store. And you can see how usable it is. If we go to downloads over here, um, we can see um, what have we got here? There's double bubble again, and just copy it over, drag and drop. And you can see down here, there you go, and it's copied it over. So that's how to use FileZilla to gain access to your object storage. So that's fine, that's one FTP client. CyberDoc is very similar. Um, you fire up CyberDoc.
and it asks you whether you want to make it the default client. I'm just going to cancel that for now. And then you end up with a blank capability. Now you can manually configure this, presumably using the Swift OpenStack, which is what uh, SoftLayer is, or, or there's a SoftLayer object storage in Dallas already there. I know why that's there. Um, that's actually there because what you want to do is very simply go to Cyberduck profile for software. If you search for that, there's a website here, Help English How To Software. And if you click on that, it has the Amsterdam, Dallas and Singapore profile files. So you can easily just click on, for instance, the Amsterdam one. It downloads a file really quickly. And then you can just open that file. By double clicking it, it will build it into the profile of Cyberduck that you have. So that's Amsterdam. We can do the same with Dallas, which is where our, whoops, I downloaded that twice. Bit too click happy. There we go, the Swift clients are there. And now to gain access to Dallas, you can choose either one of these. We need the username and the API key again, which is back here, username. And the API key. Once you've done that, there you go. Tutorial 6. So that's how to use Cyberduck or FileZilla to gain access to your object storage. Tutorial 6 has been quite a long tutorial. I uh, hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, we've walked through an awful lot of areas, including the use of FTP clients, uh, setting up cloud views, connecting a virtual machine to our object storage. Um, it's been very technical, this particular tutorial, so I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, my name's Eamon Killian. Thank you very much for watching.